The boy and his father were planning for the boy's 10th birthday party when this happened. Fortunately, they have something at their house, which you are now seeing all over the place these days, a security camera. And that'll give the police the best video they can get in order to try to catch this shooter. Watch this security video closely. That's Julio Ramirez walking with his 10 year old son, Alexander, in their Lake Worth yard last Thursday. Alexander suddenly drops to the ground. He had been shot in the neck. We're walking into the house to get something to drink when we heard the gunshot. I just went straight to the floor because just in case it was going to go again, I went down. And once I started to feel it, um, I started to scream a bit because I was in a lot of pain. Julio immediately took Alexander to the hospital. Three hours of surgery and the wound looks like this, held together by staples and stitches. Julio says it turned out to not be a bullet. He says doctors removed a BB pellet from Alexander's neck. It was a close call. If, if, if the pellet would hit him on the spine or, or one artery, it would be a different story that we would encounter today. Let's go back to that video again, this time focus on the street behind them. A black car drives by just before Alexander is shot. The family wonders if maybe the shot came from that car. Regardless, they don't believe this shooting was personal. They think it may have just been someone's idea of fun. So we just want them to realize, realize what they did and, and hopefully they don't do it again to nobody else. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office is investigating this shooting, but at this point they have not made any arrests. Reporting live, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.